Nothing says Halloween like a jack-o'-lantern, and this weekend you'll be able to see hundreds of them at Powell Gardens. Yeah, it's putting on its annual jack-o'-lantern festival, and it takes a lot of work to get all those pumpkins ready for the event. But now as photojournalist Aubrey Morse met up with one of the volunteers who is putting her carving skills to good use. Check it out. We're carving 750 pumpkins to get ready for our big party. Oh, you guys are going to be out here for how many hours? Four, at Four. least. <laughs> we have pumpkins that we are gutting here at this table. You can hear the saw in the background. We cut either the top or the bottom off. And then we have people that carve. There will probably be over 250 volunteers throughout the, these two days. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> Excuse me. So if we were going to help carve. Pick out a really simple one around on the wall. You can work right there at that table. And after dark, nobody sees the flaws. Okay? <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect. So did you ever carve pumpkins back in the day? Sure. Yeah. I made two eyes, a nose, and a mouth like all good jack-o'-lanterns. Classics. Yes. Classics. But this, these are not classics. There are cats, there are ghosts, skeletons, leaves, witches. Anything you can connect with Halloween is up on the board. That is one moody alien. It is spectacular. It's wow. It's something you don't see anyplace else. It's different than your pumpkin patch, haunted houses, and your mazes. Come one and come all. I love it. The Jack Leonard Festival kicks off tomorrow afternoon at Powell Gardens, and you can find more information on our website, KSHB.com. Powell Gardens says it expects up to 10,000 people just to attend this weekend.